We often see experts as the most important people in the world. We aim to become one, but we don't think that we can become good enough to actually get to the expert level. But the truth is, the world needs more people who aren't experts in a field. And what I mean is, starting to learn something and being an intermediate is the path to being an expert. But teaching those from an intermediate level is the way to accelerate your way to get to an expert. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about why you don't need to be an expert. Experts are the ones who get interviewed. They're the ones who are paraded around. They're the ones who we see on TV and we see in the media and we see everywhere else. And for good reason. They put a lot of time and a lot of effort into what they wanted to become and where they are now. But the thing is, you don't have to be an expert to get to where you're going. You need to start now and you need to start at the intermediate level. We need to first reframe our thinking. If you've ever heard of something called the expert bias, then what you understand is once you get to an expert level, you think that you can teach the beginner how to get to where you got to go. But when the beginner on the other side is learning from the expert, they're getting all this information, they're getting a lot of things that they actually don't need to learn at the beginning. Remember, as Bruce Lee said, at first you're a beginner and a punch is a punch, and then a punch becomes so much more in the intermediate, and then in the advanced, a punch becomes a punch again. What we're skipping over is the intermediate phase where you do have to realize that there's so many other things that you could do with that punch before you get back to as simple as a punch is a punch again. The expert bias is that you can walk a beginner to the expert level from the beginner level without having to go through that intermediate type stage because what you're going to give them is the information that you know now from the knowledge you know now from your view that you have now to the beginner of how they should start but in reality a lot of times the beginner needs to start where they are now let's talk about the beginner's mindset because that's a whole nother paradigm the beginner's mindset is all about the person who wants to learn everything and anything that they can to get to where they want to go now what that means is when you're a beginner, you're trying to learn everything you can. You act like you aren't the expert, so you learn more and you learn more in a more playful and better way. You're curiously curious, and that is such an advantage. So when the expert gives the, be the beginner's mindset person a bunch of information, of course they run it all, but a lot of times it leads to burnout before they even get to the intermediate because in the intermediate phase, they feel like they should be the expert by now because they put in putting the expert advice into action from the beginner stage. But we need to talk about why the intermediate stage has the actual strength. If you're in the intermediate and you're trying to become an expert in something, Teaching along your journey, documenting the process is the way to teach the beginner how to go to the intermediate where they can then go from the intermediate to the expert phase. The intermediates know how to teach the beginners the best and the experts know how to teach the intermediates the best. That is how it should go because it's a natural cycle, a progression of nature is that you have mentors and you have mentees, but you have mentors and mentees for so many different levels of experience. It's not always the top of the top in the world teaching the beginner. Normally it's the top and the top teaching someone who's almost there, teaching someone who's almost there, teaching someone who's almost there, and you can move up the ladder. Otherwise, what ends up happening is you get burnout, you get tired, and you get sad that you're not getting the results that you should have. Remember, always try to achieve Kaizen, which is getting 1% better each and every single day. So that is why you don't need to be an expert. You can start now, you can start doing whatever you want now, and you can learn along the way and teach people every step that you make. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If it helped you in any way, make sure to give this video a like otherwise comment below with something you're trying to learn what you're intermediate at what you're going to start to do and utilize in your life make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in a video shortly when you're a little bit closer to being that expert